guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is part of a series for X-Plane 11 flyers who are considering the HP Reverb G2 for flying in VR. I'll be describing my experience of overall frame performance and visual clarity flying popular X-Plane 11 aircraft with the G2 using my PC configuration as the baseline. My hope is to give X-Plane 11 users an idea of what to expect using the G2 with X-Plane 11. Let's start with my hardware configuration. Here are my G2, SteamVR, and X-Plane 11 5.2 settings. I'll be conducting all flight tests out of Juno International Airport using Ortho4XP scenery at base zoom level 16. Let's define what I mean by frame performance. To me, this is the degree of smoothness of flight or level of stuttering experience while flying in VR. For VR sim flying, 30 frames per second is normally ample unless you're barnstorming at high speeds with lots of close objects in view. Often overlooked though, frame time is an important metric for smoothness of flight. With X-Plane 11, the type of CPU, GPU, RAM, and disk use all have an effect on frame performance. X-Plane 11 tends to be CPU centric, so the more cores you feed it, the smoother the performance is going to be. I recently upgraded it from a 4 to 8 core CPU and saw a big improvement in frame performance. Your results will vary, of course, depending on your PC configuration. You'll see both frame time and FPS on the screen during these tests. The image is the X-Plane 11 desktop view for VR. I've minimized all other apps and screens, so resources are available for X-Plane 11 and the G2. I'll be describing what I see in the G2 VR headset. All right, guys, so we're in the Diamond DA62 today. Beautiful plane, as you can see there. Textures are excellent. Graphics are excellent. Looks beautiful. Love this plane. One of my favorite planes. One of the important things to know about configuring this plane is you need to make sure that you have this setting turned off. If you go into the diamond um, settings, um, there's this under the G1000 tab. It says enable a G1000 MFD flight plan mouse feature, and then under there's another sub box. You want to make sure both of those are unchecked. If you have those checked, it's going to bog down your frame rates. So you want to make sure those are, those are unchecked in VR, okay? All right, so that said, let's get to it. You got the uh, GPU, CPU utilization there and the frame rate up top. So you can see exactly uh, what we're going to be doing here. Uh, we're going to be doing our traditional lap here at Juno International Airport. I let's start to taxi here. Super smooth. Always smooth with this plane. I love this plane. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, you can certainly see the cracks in the paint and all those visuals are fantastic. Mountains in the distance are very easy to see and realistic. Um, I don't notice any stuttering, maybe some slight micro stuttering, but uh, for the most part it's very, very, um, very, very uh, smooth. Alright, so we're going to get our taxi on here, get over to... Uh, the line, get ourselves lined up and take off and do our, our test lap in the diamond. Um, everything on the instrument panel is easy to read. Uh, so I'm sitting back in my, my seat here, so I don't have to lean in to read anything. The text is very visible, especially, especially in the suite when you have a sweet spot lined up for the G2. Uh, all of that is very similar to the other videos that I've posted so far. So, But just... Uh, it bears repeating for those who may have, have who may have not seen those videos. So let her, let's get ourselves lined up here. We'll take off, do a test lap, and I'll just describe the performance. And when I say performance, I mean frame time, the experience of flight flying without stuttering and the smoothness of it, the realistic immersion of it. That's really what we're kind of all seeking when we're in VR. All right, get flaps to take off. Easily see, make out the buildings over there to the right at the airport complex, 
uh, mountains in the in the fore in the background way back there probably 20 miles out something like that I could see the snow and the ice on top of them and make out some of the shadowing I could easily see the wind sock um, I could see the gravel uh, in the pavement so it's all looks good so let's get ourselves uh, cranked up here to about 88 percent which is where I would like to be to take off plane has twin Mercedes engines I believe they're Mercedes engines all right, very smooth on takeoff. I uh, don't really notice any stuttering, maybe some slight mic micro stuttering, but very, all in all, very smooth and realistic. All right, so let's get our knots up to 90 knots, and we're going to pull back on a stick here. Rudder, uh, yoke, I should say. Smooth takeoff, objects moving smoothly. Look to the right, airport moving smoothly. As we fly by it, start to get some elevation here. Gear up. Flaps up. Start to gain some airspeed. And we're going to make a right hand turn here. Head up to the glacier. Tip your, I don't notice any stuttering as I tip my wing there. Look to the right. It's actually very, very smooth. You can make out the houses pretty easily. See the glacier in the distance there. I'm so glad I bought this G2. Just have to say that. It's such an improvement over the S the C V1. I love the Oculus C V1, but the, the the clearness of this headset is fantastic. It's just fantastic. You know, as I mentioned before, I choose to fly in this area because there's a lot of scenery. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of buildings, fair amount of buildings, I should say. So it's it's really a good test. All right, we'll just make our our normal test lap here. easily make out the ice and snow on the mountains and the the shadows of those mountains look amazing this is all author 4 XP scenery at 16 uh, was a base whatever it is base factor I forget what the term is but it's at 16 all right, we're gonna make our turn here nice and smooth as we look out the left window very smooth Sometimes you see stuttering when you look out, when you look to the left or right versus look forward in VR. And in this case, it's pretty consistent all around. As I turn my head and look through the cockpit, everything is smooth. As if it would be in real life, which is pretty amazing. Now you're looking, you're watching in 2D, you're not going to see the, the mountains in the background there as vivid and as large as I see them they look as they would realistically if I was sitting in a plane looking at them being what 10 miles out something like that 15 miles out something like that so all in all it's pretty pretty cool experience all right we'll make our left hand turn here you can easily see the airport It's a reasonably priced plane. I think this one's 35 bucks uh, from Arabesque. It's one of their better planes, in my opinion. All right, I can see those mountains in the uh, background way, way back there. That's probably 50 miles out there. I can see some peaks with some snow. That's pretty cool. And the ones in the foreground here easily see the mountain, the snow on top of those mountains. All right, so we're going to make our, start to get our base turn in here. Start to slow down a little bit. Let's get our first notch of flaps.
make out the airport buildings very easily. You can almost see the dots of like air air you know, aircraft at the uh, on the ramps there parked. Just about make them out, which is pretty ama aston astonishing. I'll let you know when I can actually see them and feel like I can see them. All right, now I'm starting to see the air airplanes on the ground. On the, let's get our gear down. Definitely starting to see airplanes now, parked in the ramps, full flaps, everything moving smoothly. Very realistic experience, that's for sure. Maybe the slightest bit of micro stuttering as I look to the left and to the right a little bit. As I look forward, it's absolutely silky smooth. Our 87 knots there, 85 knots, get over the threshold. Easily make out planes there on the, on the, uh, on the ramps. Here we go. All right, get our brakes on. Oh, there's a little bit, little dip. There right, we go. We'll go park in the place. Uh, well, actually, we'll just go park over here in uh, in uh, GA parking, transient parking. Little bit of stuttering as buildings come in. So obviously, if you have a, a faster GPU, more powerful GPU, you're not gonna, you know, you're probably gonna get much more, much better performance. You can probably see I'm pretty high up there as far as GPU utilization. CPU doing fine actually, right? So we're probably about 20% uh, or somewhere oh, almost at a car. Yeah, about 20% oh, almost at a plane. <laughs> All right, let's get over here and I was I just took my goggles off to look at this the, the uh, utilization. All right, we're going to park it right here. All right, nice smooth. Hit the brakes. Boom. Let's get our All right, so that's a pretty that's a smooth experience as I move the controller. Let's get the uh, brake on. All right, that's going to do it, guys. The beautiful Diamond DA62 from Arabesque. A great performer in VR with a G2 at the settings that I have in my configuration. So judge, judge based upon that what you're going to get. Uh, anyway, hope this video was helpful. Hit that like button if you like what you saw today. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more X-Plane 11 VR videos. Guys, have a great day and safe flying out there.